Hello everyone. Let us learn soil classification. Why do we go for soil classification? Well, classification help us to predict the general behavior of soil before going for detailed investigation. Also, it suggests suitability of soil for various construction applications. Fine. In building construction, we come across both fine and coarse aggregates. Even in dam construction, for making the dam leak proof, we go for clayey core and for the purpose of filter and drain, we use gravelly material. Apart from this construction, even in the construction of road, at the level of foundation of various civil engineering infrastructure, different types of soils we come across. Overall, we have seen sand, gravel, clay and sand, sandy gravel. All these materials have different particle sizes. In soil mechanics, we classify soil based on particle sizes. Before learning soil classification, let us learn the notations we follow generally. We have different symbols and uh, we have certain primary symbols as well as secondary symbols. For example, G stands for gravel, S for sand, M for silt, C for clay and O stands for organic material and PT means peat which is an organic type of soil that contains high amount of carbon. And we have some secondary symbols like well graded, well graded for w, which is indicated by W and P indicates poorly graded and these are adjectives we use with primary symbols and M for non-plastic fines and C for plastic fines, L stands for low plasticity and I stands for intermediate plasticity or intermediate compressibility and H stands for high plasticity or high compressibility, right? So, these are all the symbols we generally use in soil classification. And in soil mechanics, we have broadly four different types of classification systems that are in practice. Like particle size classification, then textural classification system, then unified soil classification system and our Indian standard class soil classification system. Right. Now, let us learn unified classification system. This classification system is followed by ASTM standards and it uses both particle size distribution and plasticity characteristics of soil for classification and we have 15 groups of soil in unified soil classification system. In unified soil classification system, we use two parameters especially for classific in classifying coarse grain soils. The first one is Cu. Cu is calculated using Cu equal to D60 by D10. What is D60? 60% of particles are smaller than this size and D10 indicates 10% of the particle sizes are smaller than this diameter. And we have another notation called coefficient of curvature which is indicated as cc and cc is given by d30 square by d60 into d10 and here d30 stands for 30 percent of particles are smaller than this diameter. Fine. How to classify coarse and fine grain soil? Take 75 micron sieve if more than 50% of the particle are retained on 75 micron sieve, then we call them as coarse grain soil. If more than 50% of the particles are passing through the same 75 micron sieve, then they come under fine grain soil. Right? Coming to the coarse grain soil, again we have two categories. One is sand, other one is gravel. For classifying sand and gravel, take 4.75 mm sieve. If more than 50% of the particles are retained on 4.75 mm sieve, 
then we call it as gravel or else if more than 50% of the particles are passing through 4.75 mm sieve then they are sand right and in case of fine grain soil again we have two categories one is silt and other one is clay for classifying them we use the particle size 2 microns if more than 50% of the particles are greater than 2 micron size then we call it as silt and if more than 50% of the particle are smaller than 2 micron size then we call it as clay. So this gives you the broad classification of coarse and fine grain soil. Now let us discuss the coarse grain soil type in detail. In coarse grain we had gravel and sand. Let us see the subcategories in gravel and sandy soil. In gravel, if the fine content is less than 5%, then it may be either well graded gravel or poorly graded gra gravel. We have already seen GW and here the W stands for well graded and P stands for poorly graded. Right? How to classify well graded and poorly graded? So, we use the two parameters CU and CC. If CU value is greater than 4 and CC is in the range of 1 to 3 then the soil the soil gravel can be classified as well graded gravel or else we call that gravel as poorly graded gravel right if the fine contents are greater than 12 percent then the gravel may be either silty gravel or clayey gravel how to distinguish it using a line chart you have to calculate the plasticity index if the plasticity index is less than 4 then it will be silty gravel and if it is above 7 then it is clayey gravel and when the plasticity index is in between 4 to 7 then it is classified as a borderline uh, borderline type gravel which is indicated as gm hyphen gc fine and also if the fine contents are 5 to 12 percent then we classify the gravel as a borderline system which is gw hyphen gm so well graded gravel to silty gravel condition right in case of sand also we follow the similar line of classification but in case of uh, sand your cu value is must be greater than 6 for well graded sand and for cc the same range of 1 to 3 is being followed and another thing to be noted here is if your fine content falls between 5 to 12 percent then the category is poorly graded sand to clayey sand right so this is the two difference you have to note in sands classification system coming to the fine grain soil we have to measure liquid limit of fine grain soil if it is less than 50 percent then we may be having silt of low plasticity or clay of low plasticity or organic soil of low plasticity if the liquid limit is greater than 50 percent we will be having either silt of high plasticity or clay of high plasticity or else organic soil of high plasticity and we use plasticity chart for classifying fine grain soil and in the plasticity chart there is a a line and a line has the equation pi is equal to 0.73 into liquid limit minus 20 so this a line classifies or this a line separates clayey soil from 
silty or organic type of soil right and any soil which falls above a line is a clayey type soil of low or high plasticity and the soil falling below a line will be silt or organic soil of low or high plasticity right and uh, how to classify low and uh, low or high plasticity condition so here along the liquid limit just draw a line at liquid limit 50 so if your liquid limit is less than 50 percent that indicates so uh, fine grain soil of low plasticity and if your soil falls above a liquid limit of 50 then it indicates clay or silt of high plasticity right and for organic type of soil you can easily identify them through their dark color nature and also by the odor coming out from them and you can identify some dead and decaying matter in uh, highly organic soil fine coming to indian standard classification system it is similar to you unified soil classification system and it is followed by bureau of indian standards and in urc system we had 15 groups of soil whereas in case of isc system we have 18 soil groups of which 8 coarse grain soil 9 fine grain soil and 1 peat which is an organic type soil and in fine grain soil previously we had only two categories of plasticity one is low or a, another one is sky whereas here we have another sub category which is low plasticity and then we have a intermediate plasticity and then high plasticity so that's the only major difference between usc classification system and isc classification system and same symbols are used as usc classification system right now this is the plasticity chart followed in isc soil classification system and here you can see two vertical lines one is at the liquid limit of 35 and another line is at the liquid limit of 50 any soil falling in between 35 to 50 liquid limit is the soil with intermediate plasticity whereas after 50 liquid limit it is either clay of high plasticity or silt of organic soil of high plasticity and if the liquid limit is less than 35 then it may be either clay of low plasticity or silt of organic soil of low plasticity index right so with this i stop over the soil classification system thank you